Teresa and welcome back to my channel today thank you for joining me and um, today we're going to be doing some watercolors I've been doing a lot with acrylic paints recently doing a lot of printing and, and various things like that and I've really really wanted to get back into using my watercolor paints so today I'm going to be showing you that no matter whether you are a complete novice with watercolors or whether you've been using them for a while you can create some really nice backgrounds for card making projects now these skills you could transfer onto journal pages or if you're creating tags things like that so even if you're not a card maker the, the, the ideas that are here can be used in other ways as well the paints that I'm using today for anyone who's interested um, this is a palette of handmade watercolors now I buy these from Julia Callan um, I will pop her Etsy shop details on the screen and in the description down below um, it's hard to tell sometimes by the paints what they actually look like this is the paints swatched out as you can see I have some um, really pretty metallic iridescent paints and then these are the more traditional flat pigments at the bottom uh, she restocks her shop every month I love the quality of her um, handmade paints that she's you know I'm, I'm regularly ordering from her so if you like the way that these behave today please go and check out her shop she's based in Sweden she ships worldwide her shipping costs are really reasonable um, and she also has a YouTube channel as well so go and check that out as well I am say going to be showing you a few ideas for backgrounds just to create cards like these today very simple um, effective things that could be suitable for men and women going from very simple to slightly more technical but even this this last one here suitable for absolute beginners as well so i'm going to move these out of the way get myself set up and i'll be back to show you how they're done the first technique that i'm sharing today is the simplest technique and we're literally just going to put a couple of colors of watercolor on our background set it aside to dry and then either stamp or die cut a sentiment to fit over the top of it I'm going to use um, a pink and a blue um, just because they'll blend together and to, to make a nice sort of mauve lilac colour in the centre. So just going to begin with a wet brush and my pink colour at the top. And then as I get to the centre, rinse my brush off go into my blue and I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up and then we'll get a bit of a transition in the middle where the two colours mix you can always go back in with a bit more pink at the top of that pink end and a bit more blue at the bottom And just mix those two so we get a really nice sort of ombre effect in the middle and that background really is as simple as that I'm going to set that aside to dry and then we'll come back and finish um, off with the sentiment on there my watercolor paints dry so I've um, popped my piece of watercolor card into my stamp platform I've got my sentiment stamp which is from the Gina K Designs Be the Rainbow stamp set and I'm using this lovely sentiment here I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black just because it's a real nice uh, solid black ink pad and I'm going to stamp that over that watercolour background If you think it needs a second impression just ink up the stamp again so I'm just going to mat that onto some card clean my stamp and I shall be back to show you that one completed and here's the finished card I've just matted that oval onto a black die cut oval and added a few little um, flat backed gems these ones are from pretty pink posh uh, part of the berry splash mix but perfect um, colors for the paints that i've used and the, the paints have got this iridescence to them as well which is really pretty 
So we're going to move on to the second technique, which is just going to follow on from this first one, really. And for this card, we're going to make nine circles really on, on the front and I've just roughly drawn a grid very lightly with pencil. It's not perfectly accurate but just sort of, you know, if you don't want to do it by eye just sketch out a grid so that you can do three rows of three circles. I'm going to choose um, some soft colours here, some soft blues, greys, greens and I'm just going to loosely paint some circles. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I want to dry up but two Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing our Once again, we'll let this dry and then we can add some more detail to it. Once again, I've let the paint dry. I've erased the pencil grid lines that I'd popped on there and I'm going to add some detail just with some fine liner pens. I'm going to use these, which are from this um, set of Zeela drawing pens. Um, if you're interested in the review I did of these, I'll link to that up in the corner. And I've got the 005, the 01 and the 03. And I'm just going to doodle some little designs into some of these circles just for a little bit more detail and to add to the abstract effect. I wanna pay and it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surf Once again, matted it onto a piece of black card, put it onto a card blank. But those simple doodles just make that a nice, fun note card suitable to send to both a man or a woman. You can pop a sentiment on it if you want to, but, you know, just leave it blank and write a message inside. The third technique I'm sharing will be creating some stripes across our piece of um, card for our background and I've begun by taping my piece of watercolour card down onto this this piece. This is just some sort of heavyweight um, card, the grey board we call it here in the UK. You could use some mount board or really if you've just got like an old clipboard or something um, just to hold it down flat and it'll just mask off a nice area around the edge as a border as well. So just use some masking tape to hold that down. I'm going to choose a few colours. I'm basically going to paint um, some wavy stripes, leaving a small gap in between each one, just some white space in between each one. 
nice and simple um, take your time work from the top down to the bottom and you don't need any particular painting skills for this but you'll create a nice effect in the background I always knew we could do so many great things So believe in me, I believe in you And I just feel that this will be an upswing So hear me out I know we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Chasing all that people Chasing all that people Chasing all that people All the way back home Chasing all that people Chasing all that people Chasing all that people All the way back home I left things unsaid And you cannot forget How my mistakes are Master the art And the thing is that these scars Are scary but they are Just small scars We should never be afraid Once again we'll get this dried And then we can move on to finishing the cord And here's our third finished cord Matted onto black again Popped on a cord blank And I've just finished off with a die cut this is one of the Tim Holtz um, wildflowers, just the wildflower set from Sizzix. And again, if you want to pop a sentiment on there, you can do, but I think it's nice just as it is. Um, quite nice, simple card. And once again, this was um, some of the iridescent paint. Very, very pretty, but a nice, simple effect. The final card I'm sharing with you today, I suppose, is the most technical of them all. Once again, though, it's not going to be a complicated thing. This time I'm starting with a circle of watercolour card and I've just lightly sketched in a circle inside just as a guide um, and we're going to paint a simple wreath. I'm going to use a couple of shades of green to create some leaves and then some other colours whether it, it might be a gold or a pink or a blue just to create some small dots um, to sort of suggest flower buds or berries. You and I know when we are too far apart Everything just falls apart So I just close my eyes and dream about Our kids and how they're running around Won't you come and lay down next to me Close your eyes and we'll be free I'll keep my Sometimes, but. 
set this aside to dry and then we'll complete this card as well. And here's the fourth card and once again used one of the sentiments here from this Be The Rainbow stamp set from Gina K Designs and just stamped that in the centre of the wreath, matted it onto some black card and onto the card blank. So here's our finished four cards all together. And I hope that this has shown you that watercolours are great for making backgrounds in your card making. Even if you have no painting skills whatsoever, you really don't have to. Don't be afraid of watercolours. You know, simply just splashing a couple of uh, colours on to a piece of watercolour card and adding a stamp and some gems creates this fun um, background. We moved on then to this one where we created um, circles of colour and then accentuated pattern with doodles. You could use a white gel pen in there, some little gems, lots of ways to customise that one. For the third card, we started to look at a bit more control with the brush and created our wavy lines background. Really pretty there with the shimmery iridescent paints, simple die cut. You could put a stamped greeting or anything over the top of that just to create a nice card. And finally, we created our wreath. Again, no complicated painting here. Easy to create those little leaf shapes and flower shapes. This would be perfect for Christmas cards. Um, you could do like a twig and fur wreath with some little red berries on. Very, very simple but effective. So as always, hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you again soon. Bye. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I want to dry up but two Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay